you've never seen anybody with a uh, fierce uh, tenacity uh, to uh, willing to do what you would never do in order to placate you. Like uh, you might think of some somebody in the uh, in the external world as being bad for the reasons that they are uh, like you know in, involved or responsible in some kind of mayhem, but that is overt mayhem that we already know is bad or that we already know should be avoided but what about those that you uh, are discouraging to you that you probably should avoid and disengage, disengage but you can't disengage so like uh, there won't be an example of anybody who is uh, who's uh veracity and commitment is to fight doggedly for the ability to just placate you and uh, uh, more than any example you can point to of somebody who's you might say is bad I'm supposed to be against everything they represent okay Okay, that's, I can't argue. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? I can't argue. But still, it's gonna be closer to you. It's gonna be someone closer. Because it's like weird. It's like the ability that you don't have to test your resolve to not compromise is to put, it's like, there's, there's like, that one that you think is so evil and bad will never be able to accomplish that feat. And yet it's still a, a feat that's accomplishable. It's like a, a Bates Motel shit. <clears throat> like it, it turned out that something was scarier than, than, uh, so it's like, okay. The, it made the killer seem like a reasonable or nice person. It was like, it made him seem like a reasonable person, but the person controlling him was not even alive. So she seemed like a real bitch, but at the same time, she's already dead. She was already dead, you know? Jim ba the Bill, what's his name? Bates Motel, his mom. So he is still pretty freaking creepy and scary, but he's not, he was not like a, um, a cheese head or like a cad. He wasn't like one of those like cheesy, caddish, goofy people that think he's going to get away with, you know, or some, know something like crimes that you know are it's like uh a different type of mentality that could get into criminal you know but it's it's like a, uh, foregoing the the fact that his mother was a was a corpse sitting there in that rocking chair. Like uh, he was actually being psychologically abused. So he was like a regular nice person. <clears throat> yeah, it, it's uh, he's still capable of capitulating to doing anything his mother told him to do. You'll never have a chance to fucking make fun of that guy or belittle him or you know what I mean like it's it's like all you're gonna do is make a sign for all of the uh, weirdos and say look over here at me I'm a damsel 
like save me i'm in distress and come save me you wouldn't be able to like uh work at his world view you know what i mean try trying to uh try to uh crash his belief system or you wouldn't try to get a rise out of somebody like that or you know like a one up or you know you showed him you know what i mean because as far as you're concerned you wouldn't even notice that he, he seems like a regular nice guy um and then there's those people in society that had buried people in the backyard and and it they thought he was normal but somebody thought he had a weird smell but for the most part, everybody thought he was a regular person. You couldn't imagine what he was going to do. It said all the time. That's just like... The, that's the basis for some creative writing in horror. As to ascertain what's really scary. Because goofy little capping girls don't know what's really menacing. They'll try to charm the tempest. They like something about that charming the tempest you know it's like a snake charmer they but then they have like the snake is like one of the day gets so big and see and it consumes them so it's playing a delicate game between the beast and becoming the food source like or getting what they can you know by way of like novelty and even uh status and all that kind of stuff like from uh, uh going for the guy who already has it because you're not distinguishing yourself from showing anything as like somebody is that you could see value somewhere where people don't see it and then make something out of nothing that would be impressive and sometimes you're called on to do that and not just to have everything like fall in your lap and land right at your feet and so um i guess like you know well uh men are a little bit more able to bulwark for that purpose but they still has to be a it takes two to tango and it still has to be a, a circle of encouragement or something like a rewarding principle of encouragement where even though she doesn't have to do the hard, the most of the work, she still deserves more than anybody to be beneficiary of it. So I don't know who's gonna argue. And there's instances where they do what they're supposed to do and that makes them highly valuable and highly sought after. So it's like a rare gem or something like this. Do you see? And I think if they didn't make that cut, then they're gonna be hyper sensitive or aware of it, but only to the effect that that is a expeditious platform that is just like so if you think the grass is greener on the other side you're just going to swap out and you're just going to try to swap out but will they be able to stop themselves you know it's just they you still don't have the vision you still can't see value in any way so you're still screwed in a way if you didn't even already know that you're all you're already kind of screwed it isn't a contentious petty back and forth and that anybody's after that talking about other conversations and other men that shows that you have a boss and, and just tells people what you are not prepared like the knowledge that you haven't interpreted or reflected on you haven't read this book you haven't read that book you mean you're just gonna be have to be able to complain about whatever makes you incomplete like that's all you can do and then it's gonna be somebody's fault like and that's just a travesty if you're trying to be a man because even if you get what you want then it's going to be like wait a minute just like how does this interpret it like do people think i really deserve this or i'm just going to keep eating at you so it's kind of a war of the sexes kind of thing just like either either side of this even if you win the battle of the sexes, you're still, you haven't busted out of the, out of the, uh, the box. You haven't, you haven't busted out of that con, con uh, confined, uh, you know?
if you're still trapped in th and and it's your thought your field of th thought has a direction and nobody wants to be told or can accept telling them to change the their field of thought because I think you do need to shoot you know, tell me you 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 did you're you know what I'm saying and it was just like feel alienated and try, try to nitpick at shit and everything like compare comparing in competition and you're not on that basis but I don't know about any other basis and I believe you are so I'm gonna try to drag you down to that basis it's not about you know what I mean it's not about trying to trick you and grab you and trap you it's about I don't know nothing else good you don't know you don't know good you don't like you don't know no good or something but that's what it is. I mean, that's a pretty contentious. Like, the only, the only, um, exemption or only way out is is to uh, abstain. And but it's easy to just be stone faced and just cold and just stare like. Because if there's something you're not, you know, what I'm saying. If there's something you don't want to go back and forth over, it's because you're not supposed to. They want to argue about whether or not you think you have to. Then they'll tell you, like, I'm surprised at you or something. You know? That's all the way it's going to go. It's like, I'm so shocked that you don't have the same value. Yeah, yeah. It shouldn't be hard at all to... Uh, because you, you're not going to be... They know you can't ignore them because you can see them. I know, I, can't, I know you can't ignore me if you can see me. Why are you even going to take that route? But you can't just be like, okay, I'm going to wait you out. I'm just not going to say nothing. I'm gonna talk to, I don't talk to you. That's cool. I can see you. You can see me, but I don't, I don't fuck with you. And... <laughs> It's just like a, a signal to tell somebody that you want to turn right or left. It's for your safety that I let you know that I don't fuck with you. 